Hello guys, today I want to quickly review a code from laravel.com website. Did you know it is public on GitHub and you can take a look what's inside, including the docs and the homepage. And while looking at that, I noticed a few interesting things, weird things, maybe even controversial things. So number one question I get about Laravel, both addressed to myself and elsewhere, is how to structure the code. Where to put this or that logic? And the most typical answer is MVC should be the core, so the logic should be in the model or additional layer like a service, then the controller should contain the routing logic and passing the parameter, and the view is only for viewing the data. But now we will see a few examples of kind of almost violation of that MVC principle where it totally makes sense for simplicity. And this video is a proof that even Taylor Otwell with the team is fine with doing quick inline things if they make sense for that specific file, for that specific logic. So there is no sacred things or strict rules of how to structure the code or where to place the code. It's your personal preference. And I want to show you three pieces of code, so to speak. If you take a look at routes web, it doesn't start with the familiar route get or route resource. Those are here at the bottom, but first some constants are defined in the routes, which probably isn't number one place where would you expect that. Usually the constants are defined somewhere in the config, for example, or in some kind of service provider or somewhere else, but this is done for simplicity. So routes is the kind of global file which is executed no matter what, and then inside of the controllers or views or elsewhere, you can use those parameters, those constants. So for example, the default version currently is 9.x. And where that default version is used? If we try to find it within the same routes, it isn't used in the routes, but it is used, for example, in the footer of the home page. So the links, those are team release notes and all of that contain default version. So if we scroll down to the very bottom, these highlights, some of those links contain 9.x as the part of the URL. So constant defined in the routes, used in the footer blade. I would say it's not a typical use of constants, but it makes sense. And if we search through the whole project, that default version is used in the footer, then in the controller of the docs, then in the header, then in the blade of the docs, in the layout, and in the marketing. So this is an example that you can define global constants to use everywhere in your project, just directly in the routes. Second example I wanted to show you, if you have some logic of some parameter to the view, you probably would add that logic to the controller, for example. So we have the logos of the partners, like companies, but it's not necessarily a controller. So in this example, the homepage contains the marketing page with logos of all the companies with different heights, and they are hard-coded directly in the routes web. So whenever something changes, then someone from Laravel team goes and edits that list directly in the routes. And also down below, the same is for the team. So the team is hard-coded directly in the routes. So there's no controller, there's no config for that, there's no database management for that, there's no admin panel to add another team member or change the company. If we go back to the footer of the page again, these are the partners at the bottom and the team you can find on the page of our team. Here all the list from the routes is used on this page. And side note, I really love how international the team of Laravel is. US, Egypt, Belgium, UK, Portugal, and Malaysia. Great. And the third thing I wanted to show you is using inline PHP in the blade. It's considered a bad practice, so the blade should not contain the logic, right? But if you have some logic which is only for that blade file, so for example links, and those links are used only in that file, then why not? Personally, I wouldn't do it this way probably, but you have for each of the links later in the footer where those links are parsed. Similar example, in the docs blade, one of the Laravel products is promoted, Forge, Vapor, or Spark, and which one is promoted is decided in inline PHP script with randomizing that, and then the promote variable is used with if statement. Again, it's not the best practice to have the logic in the blade, but what I wanted to show you by that. With those examples, I wanted to show you the freedom of how you can structure your project however you want. 
The main question is for the future, how easy it would be to maintain those. So for example, if you kind of violate MVC and put the logic in the blade, the future developers in a year or in two years, would they understand where to change that variable? If it's easy to understand, then there's no big deal to do something non-standard and maybe not the best practice. But what do you guys think about those examples and in general about doing something non-standard if it works for you, for your project, especially if the project is small, especially if you're one developer on that, share in the comments below. And subscribe to the channel, I keep shooting daily videos for more than a year now. And if you want to support my mission of shooting daily videos, go to laravelldaily.teachable.com and choose one of my courses or subscribe to the yearly membership to get more than 25 courses at the moment. That's it for now and see you guys in other videos.